the graphics card is going to tell you that he's here. The server tick rate says he's here. You're going to shoot here because that's what you see on your screen. It's going to miss. I guess if you were wanting the DLSS 3.0 feature. Um, yeah, but what's the goal there? Right. Why do you want DLSS 3.0? Why do you want DLSS 3.0? And how do you know they're not going to cut backwards compatibility that shit? What if AMD releases FSR 3.0 and it goes all the way back? DLS the DLSS argument is preference really it really is me personally I hate running DLSS man I haven't seen a single fucking game where I've turned on DLSS and liked the picture better not one dude not one you always have to put on like in a sharpening filter over top or some shit always dude I don't know but my eyes are really sensitive to that shit though or it could just be a, 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 a eyesight preference that i have i don't like any kind of blur or shimmering whatsoever dude i like crisp 4k fucking dense image quality right that's more that's, not, that's me though right i don't like dlss so i don't when it, anything they say about dlss here i ignore it for my for my own personal uh use cases right i don't care at all they can create uh the next entire frame independently that's you know what that is that's like that weird ass shit on tvs the true the true motion on tvs it it's dude no i know exactly what that is man no 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 no. you know how like although the soap opera effect uh where you're actually watching a show at 24 fps and then they like frame interpolate it into like 48 fps and then it like lags and shit because they miss a couple of frames it it like ghosts on certain other frames and it, it it like makes you motion sickness like it's like the worst thing fucking imaginable dude it's like the worst like no dude i'm not down with that just just give me native that's all i want I'll make sure my CPU is fast enough. I don't need none of this. I don't need DLSS. I don't need fucking true tur -mo moton. I don't need tur moton. I don't need fucking none of that shit. Native. That's all I want. Just give me raw fucking horsepower, man. That's all I want in my games. I don't want none of this shit. It's raw horsepower. No tricks. No tricks soap opera mode yeah that's pretty much what they're saying and you know what the you know what the weird thing is about the soap so the only way the soap opera mode would reduce cpu bottlenecks you have let's say you have um it's not gonna work in esports i'll tell you right now what's not gonna happen um so it's gonna be fucking terrible dude do not if you uh, okay okay tor Tor Moton. Okay, we're talking about Tor Moton. If you have 400 FPS in Overwatch, I'm going to use Overwatch or Valorant or Valorant as an example because they have really high tick rates, right? Maybe not so much in Warzone, but uh, or Valorant. Okay. Now, you can have 400 FPS native or 400 FPS Moton. Okay this one is gonna give you the most up-to-date frame if this one interpolates the wrong way for any reason using your ai shit it's not going to be the most up-to-date frame you might even click right on the guy's head and it might miss it's gonna fuck a lot of shit up dude trust me on this i already know what's gonna happen dude i already know like how do I paint this? Like, the guy is going to be here. Right? This is the guy. You're going to shoot. If you, this is 400 native, this is native. You're going to shoot here. It lands there. This is the, the, the Moton. 
Moton. You, the the graphics card is gonna tell you that he's here. The server tick rate says he's here. You're gonna shoot here because that's what you see on your screen. It's gonna miss. That's what's gonna happen with the Moton. Turn it off. Get a faster CPU. Ah, uh, let me catch up here. Now, for single player games, it might not matter that much, right? Maybe that's the whole maybe that's the whole uh purpose of it. We we focus on esports here, so that's why my perspective is always gonna be a bit different, right? Like DLSS, two moton, all that shit, right? So if you're playing uh cyberpunk for you know how cy you know how cyberpunk is like super heavy on the cpu you're here you're standing here and there's like 500 ai in the background here and now if that ai if if that ai can make this person fake and who cares if they're a couple of pixels off if that saves your cpu resources sure that's pretty cool Right? There's no there's no reason to waste your CPU resources and all that shit in the background, right? And that makes perfect sense. That's like a that's like a, another kind of um variable rate shading type of trick that they're gonna be doing with that shit, right? But you turn all that shit off in esports. All of it. It all turns off, dude. You know what I'm saying? That already happens in Overwatch so much. Yeah, that's yeah, that's what I'm saying, right? Hopefully they increase the tick servers to remove that a little bit, right? Oh yeah, dude, in Warzone there's clips out there. It's wild. In Warzone there's already clips out there where like the guy is here, like slow mo clips. The guy is here. You're literally shooting right fucking here in the center of the guy the whole time and the little uh armor tick doesn't go off. It's the bullets are going right through the fucking mother the, the dude, right? That's gonna be way worse with that uh, Moton shit, right? Tur Moton, dude. Yeah, dude. I'm to I'm totally uh, I'm totally fully on board on just broken English and misspelling words now. It's just too good, man. The the title of today's stream is like 3090 Ti, uh, obsol or obsolete, or your 3090 Ti done abs obsolete. It's like, what the fuck? Is this guy fucking retarded? Y you you feel compelled to go in there and see why this motherfucker spelt the shit so wrong, right? It's just, it's like a key to unlocking the universe, dude. Just misspell everything. It's hilarious. And it sounds hilarious, too.